I believe that people are given the chance to help save lives every day. How, you may ask? Well, by donating blood at your local American Red Cross blood center. Now, the question is why? Well, you don't really need a special reason, you just need your own reason. My reason for donating is because my sister had to have an open heart surgery when she was three years old. And if it wasn't for the people who donated blood, she probably wouldn't have survived. Someone needs a blood transfusion every two to three seconds. You never know when you or someone you love will be in that situation one day. If you give one pint of blood, it will save three lives. The American Red Cross is the leading blood donation program across the nation. It is the largest single supplier of blood and blood products. In the United States, collecting and processing more than 40% of the blood supply and distributing it to some 3,000 hospitals and transfusion centers. Providing life-saving blood and blood products to patients is a key component of the Red Cross mission to help people in times of emergency and disasters. Disasters like Hurricane Sandy, 9-11, Pearl Harbor, and many more. The Red Cross is constantly working to increase the availability of blood and blood products. That's why you should go out and donate today. And to ensure the safety of blood donation for both donors and recipients, all volunteer blood donors are given requirements that they have to pass before donating. The first requirement is to weigh at least 110 pounds. The second is to have parental consent if you are 16. 17 and over doesn't need consent. And just to be in good health at the time of donating. The American Red Cross also asks if you can eat well before donating and keep yourself hydrated. Being hydrated helps for a better donation process and eating well keeps your nutrition levels high and well for the donation process. Now, you might be wondering what the donation process is for donating blood. Step one, just make an appointment. The second step is pretty much like a mini physical. They'll ask you questions about your health and history. You will read the information about donating and will be asked to show your donor card, driver's license, or any forms of ID. Step three, the donation process. You will answer some questions during a private and confidential interview about your health history and places you have traveled. They will check your temperature, pulse, blood pressure, and iron levels. They will cleanse an area on your arm and insert a brand new sterile needle for the blood draw. It feels like a quick pinch will be over in seconds. The actual donation takes about 8 to 10 minutes during which you will be seated comfortably. Approximately when a pint of blood has been collected, the donation is complete and a staff person will place a bandage on your arm. And the last step, refreshments. After donating, you should have a snack and something to drink in the refreshments area. You can leave after 10 to 15 minutes and continue with your normal daily activities. Enjoy the feeling of accomplishment knowing that you have helped save lives. I myself have donated almost a dozen times and I have a donor card, which you will receive at like three weeks after your first donation. I always feel good after I donate because I know I am helping my sister and many other people who are in need of blood. But if you really don't like needles or you have reasons why you can't donate blood, you can also donate money or help volunteer at blood drives. If you want to know more information, just go to www.redcrossblood.org. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a splendid day.